Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing Ford's 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 to Chevy's 6.6 .6 liter gas V8 that I am dubbing King Kong because this is going to be Godzilla versus King Kong in today's video. Before we get in the video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Ford in Provo for giving me some time with the Super Duty and to the Chevy in Provo for giving me some time with the Silverado HD. I'll include a link to both their inventories in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So powering the Ford is a naturally aspirated 7.3 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs with this are 430 horsepower and then 485 pound feet of torque. Now, powering the Silverado is a naturally aspirated 6.6 .6 liter gas V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission that they're dubbing the Allison. Power outputs with this are 401 horsepower and then 464 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with the comparison, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, something that I want to mention that's kind of funny is something that's on the Chevy here. So, you guys can see it says Allison Transmission 6.6L to flex the powertrain that it has. Ford doesn't have anything on the side of this to flex that it has the Godzilla V8, but I feel like this is going to potentially confuse people because they're going to see Allison and they're going to think that this is a diesel, but in reality, it's a gas. Anyways, here's a front suspension with the Ford. You can see Ford uses a solid front axle, whereas over on the Silverado, you guys can see we've got independent front suspension, so a different setup completely. Okay, now this is just hysterical. Look, we got the bedside step on both of them, and then we got the bumper steps with both of them as well. Now in the back, they're more similar. You guys can see leaf springs here with the Silverado solid rear axle. And guess what? The Ford also has leaf springs and a solid rear axle. Now, before we move forward with this comparison, I do want to mention a couple imperfections with the comparison. So, this is an LT, that is an XL. It would be more comparable if it was XLT versus LT or custom versus the XL. And then the other thing is, that's a double cab, that's a super crew. So, this truck has an eight foot bed, that truck has a six foot four bed. So, they're actually about the same length. So, I feel like this is pretty good, but again, not, not the best possible comparison on the planet when it comes to specs. Now with the Ford, our payload capacity is 3,391 pounds. Towing capacity is 17,900 pounds with this truck. And then you guys can see the gross vehicle weight rating is 10,000 pounds. And before you ask, F-250, 2,500. So they're, they're both at least in the same series. And well, this leads us into the Silverado specs. So 3,509 pounds of payload capacity. And then you guys can see, hopefully, the towing capacity here, conventional, 16,000 pounds. And then our gross vehicle weight rating is 10,950 pounds. So a little bit higher GVWR. Now that we've gone over all of the important specs, let's drive these trucks back to back and see which one performs the best. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, let's set off in our maiden voyage with this 6.6 .6 liter gas V8 with the new 10 speed. Pretty exciting to finally review one of these. I just did a video um, comparing the previous version of the Duramax to the previous version of this powertrain. I mean, it's the same power outputs, but obviously have the six speed. So if you guys want me to do another video, which I probably will end up doing anyways, with the new Duramax versus this, then let me know and I can do that. Once uh, availability is better probably though, because these trucks uh, sell quickly, that's for sure. You know what I've noticed is the gas heavy duties r ride rougher than the diesel ones and I'm thinking just because the weight right the weight of the front end of the diesel being greater it just kind of like helps out damping it seems really I will say really smooth so far so I think they've done a good job from that standpoint okay well we are finally going to be able to get up and move here with the 6.6 oh wow 
get another little acceleration on Chevy's uh, racetrack is what we call it, but I'm much better with the gear shifts compared to the six speed. I mean, this is a big improvement. Big, big improvement. That is for sure. Yeah, it seems like the transmission's just more responsive. I wouldn't say the shifts necessarily feel any quicker than this, the old six speed, but they, it's just like the gearing seems better on this. And this one has a 3.73 axle ratio. I guess we'll see the turning radius of the truck. And yeah, we're gonna have to use reverse. I was about to say. Yeah, <laughs> HD trucks, man, they're big. That is for sure. Okay, so let's uh, stop like right here. Let's get on it a bit. Yeah, so much better. Wow, so much better. So yeah, the 10 speed definitely, it helps out quite a bit with this truck. Let me know what you guys think about this 6.6. Do you think that the specs are now, you know, impressive enough for you? Again, the power outputs and then, you know, everything with this new 10 speed. I, I think that they've done a, I think it's a big improvement over the six speed. I think they've done a good job with it, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, well, let's drive this 7.3 and see how this compares to the 6.6 .6 in the Chevy. Now, the interesting thing about these uh, two brands is that Chevy only offers a 6.6, right? Ford offers two V8 powertrains in the, outside the diesels, right? Naturally aspirated V8 powertrains. They offer this 7.3 and then they also offer the 6.8, which people have been calling the Mini Zilla. And so I, I feel like that 6.8 might be a little bit more comparable to the 6.6, um, just with the power figures that it has. But, you know, this is what we have for today's comparison. Now, I will say, yeah, it's interesting to drive them back. They actually, the trucks have completely different feels. Again, the Silverado having the independent front suspension versus this having the solid front axle, it's a completely different feel overall, which I find pretty interesting um seat comfort is good as well with the f350 or sorry f250 i just reviewed a 350 lariat before this so i got my, my brains a little bit mixed up but yeah overall so so far so good and well i'll be back to you guys once i can get through with this traffic well we are going to be getting our acceleration here oh wow Definitely a much different soundtrack, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely a different soundtrack. Um, I mean, this does have, right, it does have a bit more torque, it does have a bit more horsepower, it does, it does feel, you know, it does feel more powerful. There is definitely a perceivable difference. Um, so we'll do the same little racetrack thing, I guess we'll see the turning radius. But to initially sum things up, um, more similar than different, I'd say. Overall, like the transmissions perform pretty similarly. The trucks obviously drive quite a bit different. This having solid front and rear axles, not having independent front suspension. So I think that, frankly, I think what it's gonna come down to is less the, about the uh, powertrain specs. Let's see what the turning radius is like. Yeah, I think it's gonna come less to the powertrain specs. And I think it's going to come down more so to which truck you like more, whether you like the 7.3 or the 6.6. Yeah, this thing is just, yeah, it's crazy. It, you you can perceive the torque difference for sure. Um, but yeah, let me know which one you like better, 7.3 or 6.6. I mean, this, you know, technically, you know, has higher towing, all that kind of stuff, a little bit more power. But you know, again, I, I think it's I think it's more about the truck that everything is attached to at the end of the day.
but yeah let me know which one you'd go for